So uh, NMN it's is one of the most popular supplements that people take in the longevity um, sphere. Now, uh, NMN was touted by multiple uh, people as being uh, the next big thing. One of them was David Sinclair, our, one of our favorites on this show. Okay. Um, so the news is that the FDA declared NMN, which is a dietary supplement that you can buy online without uh, prescription. FDA declared that you can no longer uh, sell NMN as a dietary supplement. And the reason for this is that apparently the FDA are now investigating a compound similar to NMN as a new drug. Because of this, they're uh, banning its sale as a dietary supplement. Um, now, why they're doing this is because a company called Metro Biotech, their clinical stage pharma company, are researching NMN for clinical use. So they basically lobbied the FDA um, to ban the, the sale of NMN uh, as a dietary supplement because they're investigating it as, as an actual um, medication. Now, lo and behold, one of the co-founders of um, Metro Biotech is, guess, guess who? Just say it's David Sinclair. <laughs> it's David Sinclair, yeah, <laughs> David Sinclair. No, so basically, David Sinclair created hype around <laughs> NMN and is now effectively trying to ban competitors from selling NMN. And it, I mean, it, it's been effective because they're, they've actually um, banned the... Uh, sale of NMN as a dietary supplement. And this is not his first time doing this. Uh, he did something similar to resveratrol in the past. Resveratrol was hyped up by David Sinclair's lab and himself. Um, and then they created a compound similar to resveratrol. And they created a company around that. And that was built on all the resveratrol hype. They eventually sold that to, I think, to, uh, to one of the big pharma companies for hundreds of millions. Uh, and it was uh, basically, nothing ended up coming out of it. So it was all hype. Although he's famous in the longevity world, does he have the sway to lobby the FDA to ban something as a supplement, do you think? Because obviously he's famous in our world, but he doesn't carry that much sway, surely. Uh, I mean, they they literally say that they, they're doing this because they're because there's a company investigating NMN as a, as a drug. So uh, and this, this company is Metro Biotech, so... It's not just lobbying. It's basically, this is the way things things work. And do you want to give a really basic, without going into a biochemistry lecture, just um, concept of how NMN yeah, works? Yeah, like wh why is NMN um, interesting? I mean, this thing called NAD+, plus, um, which are a well, way your, your body um, gets rid of, of accumulated uh, free radicals and toxins in your cells. Um, so these levels decline with age. Uh, partly because we produce less as we get older, uh, but also we, we consume it faster. So keeping that level uh, high at, at a youthful level might have some benefits uh, for longevity. Now, the thing is, it's very difficult to convert something that we consume orally into NAD that in, inside the cell, into cellular NAD. Right. That's why actually NMN has, has failed in most studies to actually show benef benefit. It reminds me of those oxygenated drinks that um, people claim will boost your performance and exercise and whatnot. As long as you drink this oxygenated drink, which to me never made any sense because you know that's not how we absorb oxygen into our bodies. Yeah, exactly. So um, NMN in theory would increase NAD levels. However, in practice, uh, mo uh, there's been many studies right now showing that uh, it, it is safe to take. I mean, there's no significant side effects. There might be there. There have been side effects uh, on long term use and in higher levels in in mice, but in humans, it seems to be quite safe. So that's why I think I'm against it being banned as a dietary supplement. But I wouldn't recommend it to people uh, just based on the the lack of evidence of benefit. And it's quite an expensive uh, dietary supplement anyway. Um, so I, I mean, I, I don't agree with the ban, but I think that. Uh, NMN is, is overhyped and I won't be recommending it to patients uh, anytime soon. 